Hey everybody, Dave Clark, aka The Pattern Guy. We're up in the pattern shop today. We're on part two of the Tally Hole Project, the cap Capstan Project. Today what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and uh, mount the piece that I glued up the other day into the lathe and we're gonna turn it. So let's get right to it. Okay guys, let me show you the layout and we'll show you how we're gonna go about building this down here. Okay, so over here, my red line here, that's gonna be the parting line. That's where we're gonna part it. So we had to, um, we're gonna have to core this part out, this blue section. This is gonna be a core so that we can capture this here and this here, all right? And then what we'll do is this upper part, we're free of the, you know, getting the sand out of the mold here and then all of this will come out also. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out, we're gonna do the inside first and we're gonna flip it and then we're gonna turn this outside. I actually made a little template here. That's gonna be my guide to finish the inside. And then from there, we'll get the outside. Okay guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this on the lathe. What I had to do with this one, a lot of times you can just put it on here, get it turned, over on the lathe. A couple things I did on this was, um, it was almost to size on the outside. So what I did, I put it on the sander. I got a rough dimension. I scribed the diameter. I kept my trammel points the same diameter, put the, uh, scribed that line onto the face plate, and I'm gonna mount it there. That way it's gonna be nice and true, and I should you know, have enough stock here to clean it up. All right, another thing too, I'm doing outboard, you don't want it off center too much because it's, it really takes a toll on the spindle on the machine. That's why I kind of like to try to get them as close as I can first. Okay guys, what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna have to keep on stopping the measure here. Usually what I'll do is I'll take my parting tool and I'll run this out and hold this, but this is just too big um, on this uh, rest that's not the best. So I'm gonna just take some cuts off measure, take cut, measure, take cut, measure. A little pain in the butt, but you know, that's just a safer way to do it.
Okay guys, got the outside of this roughed out. And what I'm gonna do is start going into the inside. And how I'm gonna go do about that is, basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make sure I got the, um, we got this outside diameter here. Let me use this pencil. This outside diameter to here. All right, that's established like from here to here. All right, we got that established. So then this from here, to here, I got it a little bit rough yet, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave this where it's at. It's, I got it square to the outside here. All right, so next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working on this inside. So I'm gonna get this dimension here, down to this dimension here, and then we're gonna establish, I'm out here, we're gonna have to get to this dimension here, and then that's where we're gonna get our template and i'll work to the template from there to get my draft angle um i got my draft let me get my pointer again here so i got my draft angle here okay i put a little extra draft on this for clark make it a little bit easier for him and then this is going to be the bottom so i don't need draft on that and then once we make this center part here we'll have to put a bunch of draft on that but i'm not going to do that on the lathe so um let me get back over on the lathe um, start doing inside this is the hairy part so it's uh and it's kind of cramped over there i don't have this lathe in a good spot in the shop here but with the limited space that's uh what we're gonna have so unfortunately that's it so let's get going over to the lathe and do some more turning Okay, everybody, I got the uh, inside all turned. It was a little bit of a feat there. Um, so what we're gonna do is before I take it off, we gotta do the outside, but I'm gonna do part of the outside before um, you know, I turn around here. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we got this here. So we're, we're, we've got this here, this part's on the face plate. Okay, so we turned all of this out, okay? So what I wanna do is, I don't wanna mount this to the face plate here, then I'm not gonna be able to get this bead right here. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna measure from here to here, here to there, and then like here to here, and then I'll get the diameter here from there to the other side, okay? And then we'll put this, we'll make this bead i'll put this flat in here first and then we'll make this bead on here then we'll take it off the face plate and turn it around and then we'll catch this other bead here and then we, this is a taper up here and then a little bit of a flat spot so we're going to do that and um turn it around before we turn around okay hang tight guys
Okay guys, I got the groove cut in there right now. So I'm gonna start doing the bead. I'm just gonna do this bottom part and then we're gonna flip it over, okay? And it's three eight radius. I'm just gonna take my radius gauge and do it that way, okay? Okay, check this out. Okay, there's the bead. And put the radius gauge all the way around it. And that's not too bad. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off the lathe. We're gonna take it off the, the part off the face plate, put face plate back on the lathe, and we're gonna put that little groove in there so that the inside of this that I just turned will fit over there. That way we'll be perfectly on center. I don't know if you have seen the um, one where I did the motorcycle part. We didn't, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna cut it so that thing will fit perfectly on here. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna screw this one and we're gonna finish up the outside. Okay guys, I got the uh, inside turned. I flipped it around. We're turning the outside right now. I got it to the height that I needed it. So that's from here to here. I got this dimension here. Next, what I'm gonna do is take my dividers and I got this set for this diameter here. All right, and then I'm gonna go we got this bead here from here to here is three quarters. So we're gonna go from here to here and then from here up to there, it'll give me my angle, okay? So let me get you set up on the tripod and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, I just got my two lines. All we gotta do is connect the dots. Okay guys, that wraps it up on the lathe. We're gonna wrap this video up. I was gonna show some more, but it's getting a little bit long here. So that's basically it right there, okay? So what we're gonna do is make this pattern exactly like the casting and we're gonna give it to Clark and he's gonna cast another one up, all right? So we'll keep on going on and show you the other things. Uh, a couple things I wanna mention. I, we blew up appreciate all of the people that are subscribing now hope you stick with us it's uh you know hoping to keep this thing going i want to try to get as much of the stuff in my head out to you guys and uh, try to keep this trade going try to keep craftsmanship going that's basically the premise of this whole youtube channel is to keep craftsmanship going and uh, we had a lot of guys saying you know why don't you 3d print this 
The premise of this YouTube channel is to show this, show how to use hand tools, hand machines, and do it the old fashioned way, okay? So that's where we're at. Another thing we did, I might not be able to answer every single question. I love all the comments, appreciate them. Not gonna be able to answer them all, there's no way. I just can't do it. So that one was a 3D printing one because we had so many of those. Another thing I wanna hit on, because it's gonna be an educational thing again, is these things, what I was using to put together my segments when I was make gluing this thing up. They're called pinch dogs, okay? So these particular pinch dogs I made myself when I was an apprentice way back when. I made them out of mild steel. Everybody is saying, no, you gotta make them out of hardened steel. They're not gonna last. I've had these things for 40 years. So go ahead and make some up. They're really easy to make. Just get a block of steel. If you have a milling machine though, then you have to uh, use a tapered cutter, you know, get the, get the taper in there. All right, plus you gotta, when you cut them off, you gotta taper them this way too, okay? But what you can do, if you don't have a milling machine, go to a fabrication shop, get a chunk of channel, cut quarter inch pieces of channel. You can get all different sizes of those. Sand them up, use a grinder, use a hand grinder. These things are the best. It is nice when you can get a strap around them, rubber band, whatever. These things never fail. They're always, you know, a good thing to have around. Like I said, I, I made all these pretty much. There, there might be one or two that were bought in there. Um, you can, I'm not 100% sure. I'll try to check on it. Uh, you used to be able to get these from Freeman Pattern Supply. So uh, I'll check out for the next video. I'll see if it's on there or not, but should be able to get them on there. But anyhow, We'll get to the next part. We're gonna do the inside of this, put the ribs in, do all the fillets and that. And then after that, we'll get on the cores and the core, core boxes on this thing, okay? So again, thanks everybody that has subscribed. You know, let's try to keep that going. Appreciate it, appreciate all the likes. That helps out. And until next time, everybody have a good one out there and be safe.